Hello my babies! Welcome back to another video folks! In this video today, we are going to discuss how I balance raving slash partying and fitness slash health. I'm gonna give you guys a couple tips on what I personally do so that maybe you can hopefully use these tips for yourself so you can find some balance in your life because balance is key my friends. We're about to go hit some leggies, some wheels baby. Yeah. Before we go, we are going to take some pre-workout. Sipping on that lean baby. When I take my pre-workout, I like to add a little bit of pink Himalayan salt because it helps with that pump. It helps you get that sick, juicy pump baby. So give it a try and let me know how it goes in the comments below. I'm gonna have to stand at this very awkward angle. Let's put that shit in there. Pop. You guys ready to make some freaking gains? We're gonna make some freaking gains today. Hey, let's get it. Let's go. So normally when I get ready, I listen to music and I freaking dance. But since y'all need help getting your life together, I guess I'll take this time to talk with you because you think you're special or something. I'm just kidding guys, I'm just kidding. Another tip I have for balancing, going out and having a freaking blast and managing your fitness goals. Honestly, I feel like what you do 80% of the time will not affect what you do 20% of the time. You ever heard that? So, as long as you're not going out partying, raging every single day, I think you're gonna be good. I really do. For me, I only party like every... either once or twice a month. Not that much, if you really think about it compared to a lot of other people. But, you know, I would still keep the drinking to a minimum because it does kill gains. So when I drink, I try to choose something with the least amount of sugar as possible. So like tequila on the rocks or something like that. Or I'll have red wine. Red wine is my favorite. That is the best option of all of them. Obviously in limitation, it's good for you. If you're drinking like 10 cups of red wine, that's not that good. But one glass is actually better for your heart. It actually has antioxidants in it. Did you know that? I bet you didn't. Or maybe you did, I don't know. And also, drink water before you drink, drink water while you're drinking, and drink water after you drink. That's gonna make a huge difference for how you feel the next day, and alcohol dehydrates you, so you gotta stay hydrated, kids. Also, when I go out, I dance a lot, so like, I'm moving around, moving my body, burning those calories, baby, so it's not like that big video, but I think the most important tip that I'm gonna say in this video is this one right here. Like I said earlier, life is about balance, man. What is the most important thing? What is the top number one priority? I can't hear you. That's right, mental health. Mental health is the most important thing. So, if you're constantly working out, 
grinding, grinding, grinding every single day. Never stop grinding, even in my sleep. The only time I grind is when I grind my teeth. Like, you know, you ever seen those memes? If you never have time for fun, how is your mental health gonna be? You gotta take some time to do some things that bring you joy and release serotonin and dopamine. Do things that make you happy, man. Obviously going out drinking and partying, maybe it's not the healthiest thing for you, but in moderation, if that brings you joy and you're having fun doing that, I personally don't see the problem. My source of joy comes a lot from music. I love music. That's why I love raving. I love it so much. I love it. It just makes me feel alive. So I think it's important to do things that make you feel alive and obviously in a healthy, moderate way. If I was raving every single day, going out every single day, that would not be a healthy way. But like I said, I only do this like two times a month, if that. During the week, I work. You ever heard that saying, work hard, play hard? That's basically what I'm getting at here. Make time for things that bring you joy and don't feel guilty about it. I think of it this way, if I eat healthy the whole week and then I have one donut, unless that donut is going to send me into a spiral of eating a bunch of unhealthy foods and falling completely off track, I don't see the harm in it because it's not going to take away everything else that you did for the rest of the week. That's the same way I see this. Going out a couple times a month isn't going to take away from the other 29 days that I work really, really hard. It's like a refreshment for me. It energizes me going out. It makes me more motivated to work even harder. So yeah, that's why I strongly encourage you to do something like that. And it doesn't have to be going out, obviously. But if you clicked on this video, it probably is something like that, I would assume. Now we're gonna do my makeup. I'm gonna get ready. And I'm really excited for you guys to see my costume. This is one of my favorite things about raving. You can wear whatever the f you want. Nobody cares, nobody judges you. It's beautiful, it's a beautiful thing. It's like Halloween. I can't wait to show you guys my costume. Are you ready? You're gonna see it in three, two, one. My weight up, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey. Weight in the cake up, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Turn up in the gym, no, I'm calling mama's woke. Bad little shawty, and you know I'm on a road. Press like an empress. No one to impress, bitch. Yeah. Find me on the guest list. Got that Louis V necklace. Subscribe to the mama's soul channel. Even if your name is Randall. Got it lit like a candle. Catch me swerving in the Lambo. 